Psalm 1 verse 2 says, And in his law doth he meditate day and night. We need to make sure that we are meditating on the right things. The right things. We have to be careful of this. A better life requires meaningful meditation. Proper meditation is not fretting about the wrong things, but focusing on the right things. This is to take place day and night. Your meditation of the law of the Lord should be day and night. It should be all the time, not just from time to time. Our meditation should be constant all the time. Joshua chapter 1 says this in verse 8, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then, listen to this, then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. The object here, the frequency, is all the time. It's day and night. It's throughout the whole thing. We see it again in Psalm 119. Oh, how love I thy law. It is my meditation all the day. So our meditation is not just day and night, it's throughout the day according to Psalm 119. Not only is there a frequency, but there is a focus. There is a focus that we need to have. And the focus the psalmist gives here are several things that we need to meditate on. Here it is. I will meditate in thy statutes. I will meditate in thy precepts. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of all thy doings. Now listen to this. This is great. Not only is this person, is the psalmist, meditating, that is thinking over and over and over again about thy statutes, thy precepts, and all the work, but it's also he's speaking of them all the time. Our meditation, what we think, should come out of our mouth. We shouldn't just think about it. We should talk about all of these things that God has done. And Paul gives a nice summary about what we ought to meditate or what we ought to think about in uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, in conclusion, this is what he says, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Think about these things. Now, how often is it in our lives that we think about things that are of, uh, of no consequence at all? And we just think about things that really don't make any sense or think of things that are, are, not, are not good. We have to be careful of that. Psalm 104, 34 says this, My meditation of him shall be sweet. I will be glad in the Lord. Enjoy your time with God. One of the things I enjoy most is when I can empty my mind of the world and fill it with his word. And that should be a time of great release.